Hi everyone, so you may notice we have an additional new guest today. This is Felix. You guys have seen him in a ton of videos, but you've never really officially met him. So I wanted to do this furry friend tag so you could officially meet him, or this will actually be part one of my furry friend tag. So stay tuned for part two. Um, he's very unhappy about being held up here, so I'm probably gonna let him down while I do this. Um, but I will insert some pictures along the way. Yep, he definitely wants down. <laughs> he doesn't really like to be held. But I will definitely insert some pictures along the way as I mention uh, things that I'm talking about about him, if that makes sense. Um, also, yes, my hair is short. If you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you've already seen it. But yeah, I cut about like six or seven inches off my hair. Um, so yeah, here it is. I absolutely love it, and I'm so happy that I did it. So anyway, let's just get on into this video. What is your pet's name? Um, my pet's name is... Felix, as you just heard me say, his full name is Felix Felicis Mendelssohn. The Felix Felicis is a reference to a potion from Harry Potter, and Felix Mendelssohn is a composer. And if you've watched my other videos, you know that I am a musician, so I just wanted to sort of tie in my love for music as well in his name. So I'm a Harry Potter nerd and I'm a musician, so Felix Felicis Mendelssohn. <laughs> what kind of pet is it and what breed? Um, he's a cat, as you just saw. He is a domestic short hair is his breed. Um, a lot of people call him a tuxedo cat because he's black and white. So yeah, but he's just like a domestic short hair, just a regular old cat. How long have you had your pet friend? Um, I've had Felix for a little over four years. How did you get your pet? Uh, this is kind of an interesting story. So my parents have always had cats. Well, not always, but I've just like grown up always having cats pretty much and we had a cat who had just had kittens and I fell in love with one of the little kittens and I really really wanted to take it back to my apartment with me I was staying uh, with my parents for about a week and I had just gotten my first apartment so I wanted to have a pet and so I fell in love with this little kitten and I was gonna take it back with me well sometime during that week tragically oh my god it still makes me sad to think about it my mom actually backed out of the driveway and backed over the kitten it was the absolute worst day of my life. Um, it was it was terrible. So I I mean I guess there were other kittens there, but like I guess my parents maybe had already planned to keep them or planned to give them to other friends. I don't really remember what happened, but I just remember I was seeing uh, one of my friends later that day, and I was just telling her about it. And her brother was like, "Well, we just had a cat that had a litter of kittens. If you like want one of them." And I was like, sure. So I went over to her house and Felix was there and they called him Special Kitty because he's a little bit special. And I just fell in love with him and I was like, he's perfect. So I took him back with me to my apartment at the end of the week and he's been with me ever since. How old is your pet? He is about four years old. I got him when he was a few weeks old. I got him in July of 2012. So I think probably his birthday was like maybe end of April, beginning of May, something like that. I don't know. They didn't really know because they have a farm. So he was kind of like just a barn cat, although he was in the house the day I went to get him. But yeah, so I would, he's, he's four. I don't know exactly when his birthday is, but he is four years old. What is your favorite memory with your pet? Probably my favorite memory, honestly, is bringing him home because like I said, I just got my first apartment. I lived alone at the time and it was just really nice to have a companion. I was going through, I was honestly going through a really rough patch at that point. So it was just really nice to just have a friend and not be alone. And just to have him there was was really great. And we had a lot of fun, you know, when he was just a baby and we would play and stuff like that. So yeah, I'd say that's probably my favorite memory is first getting him. What are some quirky things about your pet's personality? Okay, so I mentioned earlier that Felix is called Special Kitty, or was called Special Kitty, and he is just a little bit special. He has some type of anxiety, not really sure if it's separation anxiety, or a type of social anxiety, or if it's just kind of like more of a generalized anxiety, but he definitely has some anxiety going on, and he also has a bit of a mental delay, like a cognitive delay. You can tell he just doesn't really process things as quickly as other cats or as quickly as a cat should so he's just he's a little bit special and also he is what the vet calls easily scared and basically he's just spooked really easily like he just I don't know things just really um, he's very easily like startled and he's very defensive about himself and also about me so if he thinks something's going to hurt him he's like like he'll attack and he's also the same way about me if he thinks that like someone or something is gonna hurt me he attacks that them or whatever so he's 
very protective and just very anxious. So yeah, he's He's a special kitty, for sure. What does your relationship with your pet mean to you? I mean, obviously it means everything. Like I said, he was my first little companion when I was living by myself at my first apartment. And he, I mean, he's still, we've been through a lot of things together. We've been through, oh gosh, like three moves together, three or four moves together. And he's just, I don't know, he's just always kind of there, you know? And um, I just, I love having him there. And I'm glad that he's just kind of always around, so. Yeah, it means, it means the world to me to be able to be his human. What are some of your favorite pastimes with your pet? Um, Felix doesn't really like to go out. He's a homebody, kind of like me. Uh, they say that you're like your cat or your cat's like you, and that's the truth. Felix and I are just alike. He likes to always be next to me, like near me. So, I mean, I don't know. We don't really like go out and do anything like he's a cat he's not like a dog or a horse or something where I can like you know go out and do things with him but he always likes to be next to me and so I mean we'll just you know if I'm in bed he's at my feet if I'm sitting on the couch or watching tv he's right next to me sometimes he likes to cuddle but it's on his own terms so if he's cuddling with me it's because he's come up and jumped in my lap not because like I've gone and got him and been like cuddle me I mean you saw how he was when I like forced him to sit with me he was like no I don't want to sit here right now I'm gonna go do my thing so he's very much cuddling and being nice is on his own terms but um so yeah I'd say just like sitting around and cuddling I guess also he loves the um like the laser pointer um I don't know what you call it other than laser pointer but like the little red dot he loves to chase the red dot so that's something that especially if he's like I can tell he has, he's super energetic and he just needs to chill out I'll get the laser pointer out and run around for you know 10-15 minutes and then he's like panting on the ground so he really enjoys that and then the last question is what are nicknames you call your pet he really doesn't have a lot of nicknames I mean Felix is a pretty good name you know like it's not like a really complicated name but I would say his probably his biggest nickname that I use the most is Big Cat I do have two cats you guys if you watch my videos have seen both of them in videos so he is the bigger of the two cats he is a little bit fatter and he also is I mean he's just like a bigger like stockier more muscular cat so I call him Big Cat occasionally I'll endearingly call him Fat Cat but usually I just I'm just like, hey, big cat, or where's my big cat, or whatever. So I'd say big cat is the only really nickname he's ever really had. You wanna come back up here? Let's come back up here. So I pulled him up here to say goodbye, but he's probably not happy about it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope this was a little more informative about him than I ever have been in videos, because I'm usually just like, oh, there's my cat Felix, you know, as he like walks across in the background. But okay, get down. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you liked meeting Felix officially and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.